there was a, a female on the dance floor and she was naked from head to toe and her eyes were closed and she was the only person on this dance floor and she was just doing this rhythm movement to the music with her eyes closed and I, I, I was looking at her and then I saw the freedom and then I saw, you know, the, the positivity that was just flowing out of this woman. And I remember uh, saying to myself that moment at that time, I said to myself, if I had 1% of what she had, I'd be a very happy guy. So then my friend comes over, um, the wife, and she says to me, uh, hey, um, how are you liking it? So I told her what I observed and she said, welcome to the lifestyle. Yeah. And I was just like, well, if this is the way it is, I'm coming back. And then I kept going back and meeting new friends. And I wanted to experience everything uh, that it had to offer. So what are some things that I look for that four to five hours of escape? Um, that's the best way to put it. So when you go to that club, nothing else exists. Um, it's basically you are there for that time, just having fun and and you know better than I do, especially when you talk a lot about it, you know, the, the, the lifestyle truly cares about what's in your heart, not what's, you know, uh, anything that's basically personal about you. So, you know, there's a lot of hi, how are you? There's a lot of hugs, a lot of, hey, I haven't seen you in so long. Um, that's what drives me. That's what definitely drives me. That's what I love going there. And what I really liked about the sugar cookie event that you and a lovely team of organizers did was that it was it was single inclusive if not single focus that's not common a lot of things are couples and single women couples and single women it's all fucking fine and dandy when you're in a couple but you're one big fight away from being single <laughs> and then like for some people and then what are you gonna do find yourself on the outside of a lifestyle like fuck off i hadn't seen anyone work so hard to make singles feel special right? Uh -huh. Except for sugar cookie. And uh, clubs do a, a decent job of sometimes trying to attract singles and whatnot. But a lot of the resorts, like the swinger resorts are like couples and single women only. Um, and from what I understand as a single woman, you know, who goes to sex clubs, where it's a lot of couples, it's fucking lonely, lonely as fuck to be a single around a bunch of couples. I don't care if you've got a pussy or a dick. It is lonely. So I don't want to go to a resort where there's just a bunch of couples, unless I'm in a couple. I don't have enough travel insurance in the world to know <laughs> who's going to be my boyfriend then, you know? Right. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's so true. And you know, the, the thing is about being alone, it's true because you see it all the time. You know, if you're a single man by yourself at a club, mm -hmm. you're always on the corner there and you're just watching around and, you know, you have that, 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 that terrible type of, um, uh, uh, a rumor about you, you know about oh my gosh she's just here for one thing mm -hmm. then you know you see the single female and she's in the corner and she's doing the exact same thing and then you have you know people approach saying hey do you want it right off the bat not even hey how what's your name it's like hi um do you want to do this no okay and this walk away you know yeah. um number one you just lost on a pro potentially lifelong friend right. um and probably someone that could uh live out all your fantasies but you know you just didn't want to give it the time of day it, it can be very very lonely and, you know, I'm glad you brought that up because that's something what SC wants. We don't want anybody to feel lonely, you know. I do know people who showed up there alone, were nervous, uh, mm -hmm. felt they couldn't miss that opportunity. And uh, I, I do happen to know he ended up in a very good scene at the end of the night in the back room. So, like, his night was amazing. It turned <laughs> out probably better than he could have expected, right? So that's just some piece of feedback you may not didn't even hear, but it was uh, uh, from one of your events. What happens is as soon as you get that reputation, they're going to start telling other people um, about you. The community is small, like it or not, you know, and people do talk and people like to protect each other. They do. You know? And uh, I've been trying to tell people from the very beginning, don't treat this like your Tinder left swipe pile because you're going to see these people again. And these people are going to know the people you are interested in even two years down the road. Right. So the impression, the reputation is everything. It's your only currency. And if somebody, for example, in this lifestyle was outed as being dangerous for the lifestyle, for example, if they were having passing along a disease or something, whatever, it would be to protect people that we would know and we would isolate that situation. So it's one of those things where you do have one shot to present yourself in this lifestyle for all it's worth. Exactly. So be careful who you hurt. Be careful what drama you cause. No drama, turn the dial right down, right? 
um, because you need to coexist in a small kind of lifestyle aquarium, so to speak, of all these people. And uh, I've run into many people many more times when I hope mm -hmm. to never see them again, okay? So <laughs> it's just one of those things where you've got to be able to remember that your impression you're making, yeah, it might not go well. You might not want to fuck them, but you should still be nice and you should still be friendly because that person might then be your network connection to somebody you do want to fuck two weeks later, right? So yeah, yeah. good advice, Jason. Absolutely. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with meeting some of the best friends you may have for the rest of your life. I know for a fact, and I can say this, I am living proof of that. This has been just a very small sample of a 58 minute interview with Jason RD on episode 49 of sex and swinging with Trani unicorn podcast available everywhere. You get your podcasts, go to TraniUnicorn.com for all links. You can even listen to the podcast there.